What's going on everybody and welcome to another show and tell video. Today I will show you my complete collection of what is arguably the best action adventure gaming series created by Naughty Dog for the PlayStation. And of course I'm referring to the Uncharted series. So here it is uh, starting with the first Uncharted game, Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PS3. Uh, so my copy is the platinum version. Uh, the reason for this is because this was actually the second Uncharted game that I played. The first Uncharted game I played was actually Uncharted 2, but more on that after this. Anyway, let's see uh, what is inside. So first of all, actually before we go to the inside, that is the box uh, there, right? It is the platinum version. Uh, there's the back of it, uh, the standard one. So if we open it up, uh, we get both the platinum disc, uh, the platinum Blu-ray disc, should I say, and we also get the uh, booklet. Right, there it is. And there's an ad for Heavenly Sword at the back. Also available on Platinum. Uh, the booklet itself contains the usual. Uh, the Fortune Hunters, there it is. Uh, Nathan Drake, Elena Fisher, Victor Sullivan and Sir Francis Drake. There's a setup page, uh, directional button movement, menu screens, uh, all of the controllers, uh, getting started, uh, playing the game, obviously <clears throat> this had to be uh, explained because there's a new IP for Naughty Dog. Uh, combat weapons, grenades, uh, and you can also set the grenade trajectory um, using the six axes, as you can see there on the bottom left, uh, right. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, exploring, climbing, uh, and again, you can use the six axes to um, to move around, jump, uh, balancing, ledge reversals, rope swinging, etc. Uh, you've got their uh, swimming, jet skis, you know, solving puzzles, glint of gold, pause menu, and, and so forth. And finally, Drake's Tale. All right? So that is my copy of Uncharted Drake's Fortune <clears throat> for the PS3. Okay. The next game in the series is, of course, <clears throat> Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which was at the time one of, if not the best action adventure games ever created. Uh, for me anyway, and hopefully a few of you out there agree with me. Uh, now I got this game as a birthday present from a gaming buddy of mine. Uh, so, you know, this was the first, yeah, this was the first game in the Uncharted series that I played. Uh, at first I didn't know what the game was about and I didn't know what to expect, but I was immediately blown away as soon as the game starts. If you played this game, you know exactly what I mean. I have now I have no idea how many hours I sank to this game, uh, especially in multiplayer. I enjoyed both the single player and multiplayer aspect. Uh, in fact, I enjoyed it so much that I think playing this game was the cause of the yellow light of death on my fat PS3. It was either this or Killzone 2. Anyway, let's take a look inside. Right, again, there is the Blu-ray uh, DVD, Blu-ray disc. Uh, you've got there a nice uh, artwork on the inside of the cover, as you can see there, of Drake choking one of the gunmans. Uh, there's a booklet, um, get connected for free. Let's see what's inside of the, uh, the booklet. The usual principal controls, uh, setting up default controls, Game screen, multiplayer menu, this one, I think this was the first game that has multiplayer, and yeah, it, it is a great game. I don't know if the server is still up, uh, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd love to play another multiplayer game, it was a great fun. Uh, Plunder, that was good times. Um, yeah, co-op, uh, there it is, preparing for combat, hand-to-hand, -hand, exploring the game, uh, traversals, unlocking the past, treasure seekers, etc and all the um, uh, supporting uh, cast of characters there. Elena, Victor, and Zoran Lazarevich. Uh, but there it is. There is Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. I'm just gonna put it right here. Next up is Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. However, this one, my version at least, is the Explorer Edition. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, I actually got lucky with this, like extreme, well, in my books, extremely lucky. 
So I completely missed the pre-order date for this version. I didn't even know when the, this game came out, um, to be honest with you, I, at that time, at least. And I missed it, so, right? so when I checked my local retailer's website, it was already marked as sold out. So I panicked, I rang the retailer on the day and asked whether there was any way for them to secure another copy for me. Sure enough, they had one copy left. So someone must have canceled their order um, last minute or you know, canceled or whatever it is. And I, at that time, I didn't even think twice. I bought it, immediately bought it, All right? So here it is, this is, um, yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's one of my favorite uh, collector's edition out there, All right? So, this is also another game that can be played in stereoscopic 3D. As you can see here, uh, hopefully you can see this down here, there is the 3D compatible game icon. There we are. <clears throat> um, and, yeah, and, and, and the box itself, let me show you the box anyway. There it is, right, there's the, well, there's the front. Now, by the way, there is no plastic, when I, when I got this box, there was no plastic screen in front of it, so you can, you know, you can actually touch the, 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 um, uh, what is this, the, the, the chest, um, and I don't know why, I, and I don't know whether it's just this copy or is every copy like this, but anyway, um, let me know in the comments if anyone else has this edition and whether or not the box has a plastic screen on the front, um, maybe it's just mine, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you later, but I can't feel any, um, even if there was a plastic screen, I couldn't feel any um, glue marks, you know, uh, within the inside of this, uh, uh, the box, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, anyway, Let's see the box itself, right? So there's the front, right? Um, and obviously, you know, there's the case, uh, there's the side and what it contains. Uh, so the Explorer Edition uh, contents, let me just see if I can get that closer to the camera. There we go. Uh, so you got the game. Uh, there's a wooden travel case, which you saw before. There's a, you get a belt buckle. You get a ring with necklace strap. Uh, you get the Drake, Nathan Drake figurine and a 3D lenticular sticker. Uh, and also you get uh, a DLC, a code, to unlock all the multiplayer uh, boosters and rewards, skins and decals, etc. Down, down here, right? The back of it, uh, you know, there it is. I'm just going to lift this up. There we go. <clears throat> right, uncover the truth and, yeah, all the, um, all the necessary um, information. <clears throat> and, of course, you need a network pass to play the game. And on the other side, uh, similar to the um, yeah uh, to the left side or right hand side, depending on where you're looking at the, the box from, it also shows you the contents of a uh, said box. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and and let's see what we get. Okay, so as you can see here, um, there was a you know usually anything that uh, comes in a, in a box, um, they they will put some sort of a uh, a seal, a sticker seal, and I tried taking off uh, the seal extra carefully, but I wasn't able to, as you can see here with the um, uh, with the rip. But anyway, yeah, the rest of it looks uh, in good shape. So let's open the box. I'm just gonna take this off screen for a while. A few moments later. Okay, the chest itself. Here it is in all its glory. Look at that. Right, that is wow. That's beautiful. Uh, for me. Let me just... There we are. So, it is wooden. Uh, this is leather strap, as you can see here. It's it's nicely, nicely built. It's got it's got quite a bit of weight to it. It is, it's not thick, and it's not, um, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's well built, I'd say, uh, but it's not made from solid, you know, solid wood. And there's the back of it. There's the hinges there. Right, it's got a nice, um, yeah, it's got a nice feel to it. Right. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, this wooden case, it's, uh, it's actually useful. Um, and more on that later, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, to open the case, what you will need to do is you need to unbutton these two straps on the side, as you can see here, the first one here. Right, so if I take them off, there we go, and another one, there we go. You also need to unlatch the hook in the middle. Just like that. And when you open it, right, there it is. You know, immediately you can see the, the 3D lenticular card. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it is uh, very well built. It is also wooden in here. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's very nice done, I love it. Okay, so 
What's inside, right? So um, in no particular order, first of all, the 3D lenticular sticker, right? So hopefully you can see there, it is, uh, yeah, it's nicely done. Nothing on the back. <clears throat> Here it is, right? Uh, you also get the, oh, here we go, where is it? The ring with the strap, which is right here. So if I unfurl this, um, there it is. It's basically, uh, yeah, a necklace. And the ring, it's got, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually, I'm pretty sure this is Drake's ring, the one from in-game. It's just a replica of it. Right, there we are. And also we get the belt buckle, which is right here. There we go. There we are. And there's a hook there. It's very nice. And we have... I'm going to go straight into the game first, and then I'll show you the other one. So, and we also obviously get the game itself. Here it is. So there's a game, Uncharted 3 Drake's Definite Special Edition. Um, it comes in this nice plastic cover. Now it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually come with a Blu-ray case. Uh, what it does come with is this. Now, this is made from cardboard, uh, but the cover of it, I don't know if you can see this, um, it's, it's smooth. So there's some, yeah, and it, it feels nice. It feels like a, I guess it feels like a diary, uh, to some degree, but it would have been nice if the, the, the cover in the back had the, um, uh, what is it? The the leather uh, feel to it. But even even so, this is already nice as it is. You know, it, with the embossed logo on the side and the back here, and you know the embossed logo here. Okay. Right. So inside, uh, let's see here. There's the first page. Right. There's the opening. Uh, you get that. I'll just show you that again. Here it is. Second page there. Hog Wild. Uh, what have got here? More images. There we are. I'm pretty sure that's from Uncharted 1. Oh man, I can't remember this game at all. Uh, maybe no, it's 2. Because it's uh, it's in the ice, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously this is Uncharted 2. And then, what's next? There we go. Some more images. And there's a ring before. And <clears throat> there's the back of it and the back. Now, the game itself. Um, is in here as you can see so if I take that out it's nice and nicely secured so if you you know turn it down this way it doesn't fall off uh, but yeah it's, it's nicely held securely held there's the game as you can see CD is still good uh, where are we here come on there we are <clears throat> and there's the back now um, the the instruction manual, at first glance, looks like a map. So I'll show you this, right? So let's put that out of the way. So there it is. Okay, there's the, the Uncharted 3 Drake's Edition. If I, if I un open this up, uh, there we are. Almost there. And that's the usual, you know, parental control, etc. And the, and the phone number, whatever. Uh, if we open this up, <coughs> There we are. There is the what what normally is <clears throat> in the booklet. So you got setting up the game screen, controls, pause menu, main menu, playing the game, etc. Swimming, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and all the uh, fortune hunters on the on the right-hand side there. All right. But that is the um, yeah. That is the 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 flyer or the booklet. Uh, <clears throat> also, you get three DLCs. Um, so yeah, code, which is on a you know. On a, I'll show you this. I'm, I'm really sick and tired of blurring things, so I'll show you that one. There's that one. Uh, there is that one there. And there is that one. Right? So those are the three uh, DLC codes. Um, I believe they're for multiplayer, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, that is the game and everything else that comes with it. Okay, let me put this all back where it belongs. Right, so I'm gonna, just going to put it back here and you also get a Nathan Drake figurine. So let's first of all take out the base. There it is. Right, I'm going to put it on this side 
And then you also have, yeah, the figurine itself. There it is, in all its glory. Right, yeah, face is a little different, but um, the, uh, yeah, you get the, uh, what is that? Is that an AK? I'm not sure. I'm good with weapons. You get the AK, and I'm pretty sure that is all. So, essentially, there's a um, hole here, and uh, and this thing goes into that uh, hole. So, you put it, uh, I think you put it like... Like that, there it is. I'm gonna just put it up here so you see. There it is. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll fix this later, but yeah, there we are. Right, so that is Uncharted 3. Um, <clears throat> okay, before we move on to the next game, uh, I want to show you another great feature of for this wooden case. Now, there it is, right? There's a wooden case. You can actually fit up to 20 Blu-ray cases in in here. So that's why I said it's 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 great because you can it, it's multi-purpose. Uh, technically it's 19 cases, but you can place one on top and that makes it 20 because the one fits in here. So let me show you. Okay. So here we are. I've got 20 games here, 20 PS3 games. Right, and uh, yeah, you can see them. Wow, what they are: Ultimate Marvel, Dynasty Warriors Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Army of Two, Army of Two, Resistance. So um, yeah, I'll let you read it. Anyway, twenty games. And remember, this can fit twenty. Not yeah, nineteen, like I said before, but twenty. Uh, I know, right? So uh, here's the first five. All right there, it is. So if I put this, I'm gonna put it to the very end. Uh, here is another five. Right, so let's put that in. Here is another five. Right, let's put that in. And you can actually fit four at the end. Right, so that is 19. Now, obviously, if you want to put 19 in here, yep, you're more than welcome to. You can then close it, and it closes. Closes shut, as you can see there. Right, you can also, like I said before, put one more on the top, right in the middle. And if you close it, it still closes. So, like I said, 20 cases, which is which is great because it, you know if you don't have enough storage in your house for 20 separate uh, PS3 games, then and if you have this baby here, you can put it right in there, and you know there it is. There's your um, storage uh, storage solution um, right there. Okay, moving on. I have for you Uncharted 4: A Thief's End. Now I'm gonna. Take this out of the way because it's it's a fairly large box, I would say. So here we are. Oh, and there it is. It's pretty big. I don't know if I can fit it on uh, on screen. Let me just uh, move this camera just a little bit higher. There we go. And there it is. Right, Uncharted Four: A Thief's End. Uh, it, it's it's big. Now this game is probably best in the series. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a toss-up between two and four for me. Okay, so, but let's see what's inside. So, anyway, sorry, before we go uh, see what's inside, let's see what's, uh, what, what the box tells us. There it is, there's the back of it. Right, and if, if I move this, bring this closer, there we go, that is what you get is uh, inside. So you get a 12 inch, 30 centimeters uh, Nathan Drake statue by Gentle Giant. A collectible steel book case. I'm just uh, bring that closer. 48 page hardcover art book. Uh, and then, yeah, Naughty Dog and Parts uh, Sigil stickers. Dynamic theme for the PS4. And then you get the, you know, the usual multiplayer extras. Alright, but anyway, let's open it up. So here we go. So when you first open uh, it up, I need to put this on an angle, sorry. But you get this. There's the game. This is the 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 steel case uh, book, right? So if we take that all out, I'm gonna move this and back here. There's the steel case. There it is. Right, and there's the back. Nice artwork, and it's still in beautiful condition, as far as I can tell. No scratches, no blemishes, no marks. And there it is, the PS4 Blu-ray disc. Okay. 
Um, you also get the um, uh, flyers here. Now, the flyer, um, one of them is, uh, well, they're for downloading the di digital content, so there they are, right there, and the code's obviously behind here. And, uh, but yeah, but the, the inside of it looks brilliant. It's got a topo uh, topographical map of South Africa, I guess it says here. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, that is the game right there. So let's put that uh, to one side and put it here. And then below that, we have a couple of things. So below that, we have the sticker pack. Naughty Dog sticker pack, there it is. Now, this is still shrink wrapped. Now, I have no need for any stickers at the moment, so I, I refuse to open this at the moment. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it's still intact, as you can see, as you can see there. Right there, as you can see the plastic cover on it. And then you have the art of Uncharted 4, a thief's end. Okay, there we are. Uh, let's see here. What's inside of here? The usual. Let's see if I can uh, contort myself so that you guys can see it. There we go. Uh, oh, Nate and Sam when they're young. There we are. There it is. The Explorer. Hector. Yeah, apologies for the glare. Um, my setup isn't as pro as uh, as others. Jameson, Elena. I think this is the game where you can play uh, Crash Bandicoot, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which was a nice Easter egg for me. I suck at Crash Bandicoot, in case you're wondering. Nadine. And these are all just, uh, I'm just going to fast forward. Um, yeah, all the um, all different places in game. Cassie. And there we are. There is the art book. Okay. And finally, in the collector's edition, we have the 12-inch, uh, 30-centimeter statue of Nathan Drake. Uh, so, bear with me, I'm going to try my best to open it up. So, first of all, that is where, um, you know, all these sit. So I can put this back in here, there, and there it is, right, and put this away. Uh, now this sits, um, so basically it's a, it's a box within a box. So I'm going to need to, let me see if I can do this, maybe turn it upside down. That's probably the best way. We well, you know it's, it's harder than it looks. A few moments later, and here it is. Right? It's, yeah, it's in a it's in a white box. So essentially, it's a box within a box. So if I open this up, uh, the inside of it, there it is. You see the uh, there's a PlayStation embossed logo on the foam uh, surrounding, I guess. So let's let's take this out. And you can see it here. There is Nathan Drake walking away. So I'm gonna take him out. This is, by the way, this is the first time I have ever taken out Nathan Drake. Well, the statue. Um, yeah, ever. As you can see here, the the the, the plastic um, bag is still you know molded into into the statue. So yeah, I, I've never opened this. So. Yeah, it's a first for me as well. Uh, so let's take take it out. Here we are, very carefully. And there we go. Look at that. I'm gonna look at the details on that. Brilliantly made. Um, yeah, and there's the the base 
of it as well. Nice, nice. It's, it's nice. It's pretty solid base, as you can see here. <clears throat> but yeah, there it is. And uh, if we compare that with the Uncharted 3 one, there's the Uncharted 3 one. Let's put that to the side. There it is. All right, pretty cool, if I say so myself. Right, next up, we have Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Uh, this is basically a standalone expansion to Uncharted 4, A, a Thief's End. Uh, that one. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing really special uh, about this, I guess. Um, but this is also a another good game, if you must know. Uh, so inside, we have, yeah, the Blu-ray disc. Uh, we've got a flyer on the controllers. And we've also got... Uh, two flyers. Now, one of them is a, a free game. So, this one here, that's the digital content. Um, I actually cannot remember what the DLC code unlocks, unfortunately. So, if someone knows, um, please let me know in the comments. This is the free game that you get, which is That's You. Uh, it's a it's a game that you can play using your smartphone. It's a great game to play with your friends. Uh, I think it's up to six players. Really, really good. So if you if you've never played it, try it out. I th I'm pretty sure you can get it in PSN. All right. So there it is. Okay. And uh, yeah. And, and oh, sorry. Behind that, there's really you know just a usual warning. So that is <clears throat> Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. And finally. The last game in my Uncharted game collection is, of course, Uncharted Golden Abyss for the PS Vita. To be honest with you, I can't remember much about this game in terms of the storyline. The only thing that I do vaguely remember is um, you can utilize the PS Vita's rear touchpad to do certain actions within the game. I think one of them is cl climb. Uh, if you climb, you can. You can swipe uh, on the back. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. Like I said, uh, but yeah, the inside of it. Um, I guess there's nothing really to talk about inside. Just the there's the the the, the cartridge or the memory card, as you say, and then um, yeah, just a flyer for other great games and all the different um, accessories you can get with your PS Vita. Right, and, and there it is. So that is pretty much all for the Uncharted series. Um, I'm trying really hard to find time to replay these games, maybe even get the Platinum Trophies. Uh, I know uh, Uncharted, the first Uncharted, I can I can get the trophy, I just need to play on, on Crushing Mode, similar with Uncharted 2. Uncharted 3, 4, and uh, the, uh, what is it, the the Lost Legacy, and, Gold, and I think Golden Abyss, I need to do a little bit more work uh, on that. But anyway, if you haven't already played these, the series, I highly recommend that you do. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, I will see you all on the next video.